The House of Representatives has pushed back the vote on its newest coronavirus relief package, a $2 trillion slim version of the bill that the House passed back in May. KCA United's Raquel Martin reports on what lawmakers say needs to be done in order to reach a deal before Congress goes on recess. Whether the administration wants to work with us or not, we are going to pass something. Democratic Congresswoman Sherry Busto says, ready or not, the House is pushing through another emergency COVID relief package. As a way to say to the American public, we are here to help. We know you're hurting. We know our small businesses are hurting. Busto says the $2.2 trillion package is a slim down version of Democrats' HEROES Act passed in May. We actually brought this proposal down by more than a trillion dollars. Trillion. The plan includes $600 unemployment payments, direct checks for families, money for small businesses, and aid for farmers. We have a severe sense of urgency because of the people that we serve. But Republicans say the bill has too much in it, and the price tag is still way too high. It's full of a grab bag of special interest giveaways, the same old stuff. Missouri Republican Senator Josh Hawley says the bloated spending plan doesn't stand a chance in the Senate, and says Democrats are still blocking the the GOP option. I'm concerned that there won't be a deal before Election Day because, frankly, I don't think the Democrats want one. I mean, you can look here in the United States Senate. They won't even let us debate the issue. But Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin is not walking away from the table. Wednesday, he met with Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi to work towards a compromise bill. Both say they intend to keep talking. In Washington, Raquel Martin, KCAU 9 News.